Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Lil, little Lily and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is some of Lily's new obedience skills. The tiny little corrections and lots of motivations that we give these young puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed. The only correction that we give is a gentle tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Lily's going to come home with her very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now the exercise that they're demonstrating for us now is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Lily heal. And she's been taught to walk right next to your left leg, not forging ahead or lagging behind. And when you stop your feet, she's working on learning how to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And with the young puppies like this, we want to keep it happy and fun. So occasionally we are using treats. We're not typically a treat-paced dog training school, but when we're getting these youngsters in, that we're expecting to do obedience, we want to make it fun for them. And we always want them to think that obedience is a good way to spend your time and work with your people. And I would love to get the kids involved with this because this is tiring for her. It's better than throwing a ball against the wall all day long because she's having to focus, she's having to pay attention, she's having to use her little brain even if sometimes it's just to get over on you. If you speed up, she should do the same. If you slow down, she should do the same. She loves to run, she loves to go fast. So we go fast with her. And she did her automatic sit there really well. Now, now, when she's stubborn, you have to tell her no and give her that little correction that we were talking about because she has to know that you're in charge. Now, the next command that Brandy's going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because she's very young, we're going to start out at about 20 seconds and we're going to slowly work up to th three minutes. Now, this is a family project. It's not just for mom for everybody to practice with her. When Brandy returns back to her, she walks all the way back around to heel. She praises her for a good job. She's talking to her as they're moving along. <laughs> and every once in a while, she just becomes a puppy. Now Brandy's gonna leave her in another sit stay. She's gonna back away from her. And this time, we're going to demonstrate the on-leash come on command. So Brandy's going to use her name and a happy voice and bring her right in and have her sit. So she's not jumping all over your legs when you start wearing shorts someday soon, I hope. So when you call her, always make her sit before you praise her. We're trying to teach her some self-control, some focus, some attention span, all the things that young puppies lack. Brandy leaves her in another sit-stay. <clears throat> We're trying to get her to keep, us lo keep her looking at us, come in and sit, and then return to heel. Now, when she does that with her feet, you don't give up. You tell her no, you fix your leash, and you keep on going. She's very, very bright. So every once in a while, she does try to get over on you. Now, the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. So with her seated first, <laughs> left open palm, straight down toward the ground, and the one word command to down and stay. And your house is big enough. You can practice indoors. Put her on the leash, practice your exercises inside. Brandy called her out of that down. 
That down stay, we're going to work up to five minutes. She's too, she doesn't have enough attention span at her age to be doing that down for five minutes, but that's our goal. Now she always has to be seated first before you attempt to put her into a down. Don't try to put her into a down from a standing position. Brandy returns back to her this time, all the way back to her shoulders, and I'm very proud of her. She held that down while Brandy got all the way back to heel position. When she got back to her shoulders, she stopped. <laughs> Seated first, left open palm straight down toward the ground, down and stay. She can be very fresh, so it's important that you know that she knows that you're in charge. And you want to be pleasant. You want this to be a good learning experience for her. At the same time, she can't learn that she can get over on you. So unfortunately, April, you have a fourth child. This is a great thing to practice, like if you've been at work or school and you come home, now Brandy's going to leave her in a sit-stay, you come home and she's been in her crate and she's amped up, this is a good thing to do to kind of get her back under control. Great job. That was her down from a distance. Now she got up, Brandy's going to make her do it again, and she's going to stand a little bit closer to her to make her complete the exercise and then she's going to call her out of it. Very well done. Now we have demonstrated for you the formal on leash obedience commands. We have, I will have a lot of things to go over with you on Monday when she comes home. She has come a tremendously long, long way and we're going to be looking for continued improvement. We have enjoyed every minute of having her. She's delicious and she's spunky and she's funny and she's cute. So enjoy her. I'm going to try to give you all the tools to make that happen so she's just not another job. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you real soon.